Road safety, it's important. It still looks. It's important, Alan. Mm -hmm. Road safety. Are you at speed? Oh the no! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In my car, we would have accelerated a lot faster. Bloody diesel. Oh, oh. This bus, this bus driver mugged me right off. He moved forward, and I thought he was setting off. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. Today I'm doing another mock test with Francis. Hey. He's here to, well I'm here, but for him to redeem himself. Well, we're in Hither Green today, so this should, <laughs> I shouldn't fail because yeah. this is my test center. Yeah. Not so my test should, center. You should know it. But where I take most of my pupils. Yeah. So, so I, I don't really know the roads. I'm just going to kind of make it up as we go along. You're going to direct me? Yeah, I okay. might get lost, but um, I'll try my best. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to make it really hard? Oh no, I don't know. I don't really know the area, so I'm just going to go left, right and hope for the best. Okay, we're <laughs> going to probably get lost then. This is going to yeah. be well good. <laughs> okay, so if you are, um, if you guys aren't following Francis already, I'm going to link his page over here. He's from Driving School TV. Driving Be sure to TV. go follow him. He's on YouTube and on TikTok. Yes, I am on TikTok now. Barely Thanks. on TikTok, but he's there. <laughs> so yeah, be sure I to resisted follow. TikTok for a long time, but Aman talks me into it with lots and lots of nagging. Francis, do TikTok. Francis, do TikTok. Okay, I'll do TikTok. <laughs> All right, okay, we're going to get straight into it. Okay, okay. Do you want me to cool. tell you a little bit about the test? Are you happy to get started? Uh, let's get started. Okay. I think I've done a driving test before. One or two. All right. So or five or ten. Uh, okay. All right, for anyone that's new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Where Definitely. have you been? But yeah, we're going to get straight into it whenever you're okay, ready. Let's and hit the notification on. bell so that you get notifications when Aman releases a new banging video. <laughs> Prepare, observe, signal. Does the handbrake come off automatically? No. No, it doesn't. No. It really doesn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you actually have to take the handbrake off. Yeah. This is what happens when you drive a, a really old school car. It's not automatic, handbrake. Okay, so coming out of the test center, this is really important. Take it nice and slow. Really nice and slow. Oh, that's someone on a driving test. That was Sarah. Sarah's the nicest examiner you will ever meet. Hot, like bar none. At the end of the road, so the right place. No problemo. I'm gonna wait until I get a little bit closer. Mirrors, signal. There's no road markings at the end mm -hmm. of the junctions or on the slip road into the test center. Clearly though, you need to keep to the left and give way at the end of this road. Uh, looks clear. I'm at, I'm at the beginning of my driving test. I'm not rushing. I'm taking it nice and easy. Cause beginning of my driving test, I'm probably pretty nervous. At the end of the road, turn right. That's nail biting. And also not no steering. No hands on the steering. Okay, I see. <laughs> Going in a straight line though, right? That's okay. Turn right, please. Sorry, it's a bend. Cool. I'm going to follow it around to the right. I can't even go left, so I have to go this way. This used to be blocked off, no entry. It also used to be a width restrictor. Now it's open, so we can just drive through this, no problem at all. Uh, 19, 20 miles an hour. I'm going to stick to the speed limit today because it's being recorded. <laughs> Planning well ahead, I can see a zebra crossing coming up. So what am I going to do here? The next road on your left. Cool beans. Next one on my left, mirrors the signal. Now I can't really see what's coming because there's a corner. I'd appreciate if you keep both hands on the wheel there. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to stop here. I was aware of that zebra crossing the whole way down the road because I can't see around the corners at all. So someone might come round. Uh, this lady looks like she's she wants me to go. All right, cool. Have we got L plates on? No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so weird driving a diesel. I haven't driven a diesel for ages. Uh, this one catches out a lot of people like cherry <laughs> uh, watch the crossroads the lines are a bit faded but clearly you can see it's a crossroads and you have to get right let's turn right from the piece all right mirrors signal position speed gonna drop it into first gear check what's coming oh. <laughs> coming oh. <laughs> coming Oh. <laughs> in my car, we would have accelerated a lot faster. Bloody diesel. <laughs> Stupid car. Pull over and park up on the left there, please. Okay, are we done? <laughs> I was worried about the left. Let's forget the right side there. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> Handbrake. Yeah. Neutral. 
Are you going to take this seriously, Francis? Probably not. Okay, I'll take it seriously now. Shall I take it seriously from now? Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. Serious face. So would you say you've made any serious faults right now? Uh, no. Absolutely not. All right, drive off and if you're ready. Thanks. Prepare. Observe. Signal. Handbrake. That's me taking it seriously. 80, 90 miles an hour. Two hands on the wheel. If you can pull over and park on the right hand side of the road, don't worry about the drives on this occasion. Mirrors, signal. Gonna pull up nice and close to the curb. I know what Amman's gonna make me do next. It's gonna be a right reverse. So I'm gonna park super straight. So all I have to do is reverse in a straight line. I'd like you to reverse back for about two car lengths, keeping reasonably close to and parallel with the pavement as you carry out the exercise. Okay. But try not to touch the pavement as you do this. Okay. All around observation before you do any reversing. And I'm gonna briefly check my mirror every now and then to make sure that I am Staying parallel and close to the curb. Okay, no pedestrians, no cars. If there was a car coming, I would stop and let them pass if they were going to pass me closely. So I'm looking out for them, also looking out for pedestrians, cyclists, any other road users. How was that? Thank you. Drive off whenever you're ready. Yeah. Cool. Really hot. Yeah. I'll put the AC on. Sorry. Or is it just me sweating? Because no, no, no. I'm on a driving test. I'd like you to turn left, please. Okay. Mirror. Signal. And run through the routines every time. It sounds super basic, like you're taking it back to the first lesson, but run through every single routine on every single junction, mirror, signal, position, speed, and you can't miss anything, you can't forget anything. When you're nervous and on your driving test, or on a mock test with Aman and she's looking at you disapprovingly, um, then you won't mess up. Mirror, signal, position, speed, every single time. Coming up to a width restrictor, because I'm planning well ahead, I can see that there's a width restrictor and I'm going to start thinking about how to deal with that. It's not my car either so I'm going to take it super seriously. Super serious. Yeah? Okay, cool. So I'm going to drop it into one. I'd probably go through this in a second and not slow down at all but because we're on video. And I'm respecting the hazard. I took it really slowly. Happy with that? Is that right? Yeah? Good. Cool. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm taking the road slowly. I'm not going too fast because it's a really narrow residential road. And if you look behind the parked cars, you I'm can't see the pavement. Right at the end. Okay. Can't see the pavement, so anything could be behind there. Anything could jump out at you. Mirror, signal, routine every single time. Position, speed, dropping it into first gear. Am I taking it seriously enough? No. No. You are now. Okay. Phew. Uh, what's the title of this video going to be? I have no idea. Driving instructors not taking it seriously. 17, 18. This road's a little bit wider. So I'm going at 20 miles an hour because I've got lots more room around me. I'm not close to the parked cars at all. Uh, let's check the mirror before we move into the left. And I'm planning ahead so I can see I'm going to crash into this grey car if I don't move. So mirror check first okay. before that. Did you get nervous then? Gonna crash into the great car. No. no? All good. You trust me with your car, with your shiny Mercedes. <laughs> How nice is this car to drive though? It's lovely. So good. Ooh, crime scene. Crime scene investigation. CSI in the house. Interesting. At the end of the road, let's turn left, please. Oh, towards Lewisham. Yes, let's do it. Mirror. Signal. Position and speed. I'm going to drop it into one before I get to the end so that I can look right and if I can go without stopping I will 100% do that. When moving out at this junction you want to be mindful of the traffic from the left as they will be moving into the central reservation to make a right turn and also to go around the bus that's on the bus stop opposite. Because it's a giveaway, it's not a stop line. Would you expect your learners to do that? Definitely, yeah. Move out like that? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Especially because cars behind you can see exactly what you can see. So if they can see it's clear, they wouldn't expect you to stop. And accidents happen because of that. And we definitely don't want to cause accidents on camera. True, but we couldn't exactly.
exactly see until quite late. You don't want to make a rash decision. Yeah, that's why I approached it really slowly. Well. Were you happy with that? Would you normally say stop at give way up? I'd say take it a bit slower than, than the way you did. Okay. Like, still, still move out without Story stopping life. if need be, but just take it a bit slower. Yeah, okay. Because it felt a bit hasty coming out to the left like that. I know okay. you'd looked initially, but it's just someone from the opposite side could have been coming across into the middle, like because there was that bus opposite us. Uh huh. So we have to be considerate of the hazards on the opposite side as well. So wise. <laughs> have we got stuck in traffic now? Yeah, a little bit. I Am I allowed to take my hands off the wheel when I'm stationary? Um, I'd always say keep one hand on the steering, but Even I suppose when you're completely stationary, you'll be okay. fine. But like this. <laughs> Personally, completely stationary like this with the handbrake on, yeah, without the handbrake. With the handbrake on. At least keep one on. And neutral? Do you say to the people to go neutral handbrake when you're stopped for more than five seconds? Because I know that a lot of old school instructors do say that. Mm, um, when they get a little bit more comfortable driving, then yeah. So chill out, handbrake neutral. Hmm. What about traffic lights? Handbrake um, or footbrake? Um, handbrake if they're comfortable with it, but my car has a hold assist. You can put it on hold. Oh uh, yeah. That's another feature that you Do can Do you teach use. people that? My car does that too, but hmm. I don't usually teach people that because they're not going to get a Mercedes A-Class when they No, but go through the new features. Like You can try this out, but see your own car whenever you get it. Yeah, hold there. Yeah. Oh, it's as good as having a handbrake. Can you see that on that one? Yeah, hold. maybe. Yeah. Zoom. I'm not sure. <laughs> zoom in on the hold. I uh, can see the bus lane's ending, so what am I going to do now? Move our signal, move across. I'm going to cancel that signal nice and early though, so that doesn't look like I'm turning left. Because I'm not turning with, left. With most new cars, you can indicate briefly, kind of lightly. Ah, uh, triple turn. So you, yeah, so it kind so of... People hit that by accident and yeah. get really confused. Mm. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, no. But when you know what? you want oh, to do a lane oh, change like oh. you just did there, they can you can just briefly put it on. Tap it three times. Well, just tapping it once and then it kind of comes goes on and, and it off. it indicates yeah. three times, yeah. That's really useful, especially changing lanes on a motorway. Just boom, oh, mm, move across it. and then forget about it. Not like that on a motorway. No, not like that, <laughs> not like that. Unless you're me and not taking it seriously, <laughs> then you might be doing that on the motorway, yeah. Around the back of the shopping centre, we're having a right little uh, exploration of Lewisham. This is great, this is fun. Having fun? Yeah. Bloody love driving, so good. <laughs> so good. Driving is so much fun, honestly. If you don't have a licence, you're missing out. If you're not learning to drive, well, probably why you're watching this. But if you don't have a driving license, get one. Driving is the best. Do you love driving? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of convenient that you're a driving instructor then. Um, nice little high street. Fan of Lewisham? It's okay, it's really busy. Would you come so back? I'm going to make a left at those traffic lights. Um, yeah, don't mind, it's quite nice. Is this the uh, biggest police station you were talking about? This is it, yes. I'm biggest glad, police I'm station glad in Europe. To come round. <clears throat> Goes all the way back and they have that horses in there. Big. They have the police horses live in that police station. So yeah, never been inside there. Not that kind of person. I take something seriously. Just maybe not driving videos. It auto revs a little bit every time the clutch is lifted slightly. Ah, okay. Sorry. So let's go into neutral mm. so that you can save petrol because <laughs> petrol's really expensive. Ah, oh, what's this idiot doing? Can I hoot him? Mm -mm, no. No? Check the left side if you're going to move over this way. Sorry. It's all right. It's just because I started going back into driving lesson mode there. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Clearly, I need it. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna turn go left, left again from here. Yeah. I'm going to use this lane. We can turn left from both. When approaching traffic lights that have been green for a while, you should always step off the accelerator in case they were to change. There's a point where you can stop and when you're too close you would continue. The point that the light started changing, Francis started to accelerate to make the traffic light, giving him a serious fault for response to traffic lights. The left and middle lane. Oh, you're going to skip use that light? This lane, yep. Okay. Because I know always there's traffic on the left, parked cars on the left. So if you start on the right, you'll end up on the right and you can avoid those. Uh, park cars. Top tip from someone who's done loads of drive testing. Amber light, yeah, what does that mean? Speed up. I'm so annoyed right now. Francis! <laughs> don't drive shit on my channel. Can you, do you swear on your channel? No, don't swear. You're gonna beep out. I don't know, maybe. maybe. I wasn't say I don't know how to, but maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to move back into the left 
because if we stay here yeah we need to go towards the other we way we are going to end up going all the way Stevenage, around yeah. the roundabout Stevenage that's what it said that was signpost did it oh, oh this bus this bus driver <laughs> mugged me right off he moved forward and I thought he was setting off but he wasn't he was just moving to the end of the bus stand oh what's a mess about <laughs> cheers mate oh seven oaks not Stevenage sorry that's Stevenage is really far away do you like how I did that reverse in there? I took it seriously and did all my checks. <laughs> you happy with that? Yeah, great. Okay, awesome. Oh, doing so well here. My examiner is so impressed. It is good to impress your examiner. It's really good to impress your examiner. Just be nice, be friendly, um, and give them a nice drive. Give them a nice, smooth drive, like I'm giving you. I give you a little tip as well. On your driving test, the examiners have icebreaker questions. So they will ask you stuff like, what would you be doing if you weren't here right now? Or have you come far for your driving test? Just to break the ice and make you feel a little bit more relaxed. If you have an icebreaker question for the examiner, just get it out straight away. You'll feel so much more relaxed because now you're just communicating with another human. Yeah. Cheeky, proper cheeky. I'll allow it though, because I'm not in a hurry. I'm on a driving test. It's fine. So, Aman, have you come far for this driving test? Yeah, it took me about an hour and a half to get here this morning. Half, yeah. See, now we're ch relaxed and chill. I've broken the ice. Do you feel, do you feel like the, the ice is broken? Are you chilled out and relaxed now? Yeah. Great, Good. see? Awesome, ice breaker. So I'm gonna wait until the line's broken and then turn around it. I double check the mirror there just in case because we were stationary for a little while. So is it a right from here then? We can go right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, do you want me to do a bay park? We've got this is the car park that they use quite often on driving tests. Okay, we'll go into the car park. For what is this guy doing? He's turning around at every opportunity he's getting. Jeez, jeez, Louise Miller, so signal nice and slow into the car park because we're not in a rush and there might be stuff happening. I'm gonna follow the hours. You always need to follow hours in a car park. Don't disobey a road marking, even in a car park. Instant foul. All right, what I'd like you to do here is to forward park into a bay of your choice. Make sure you finish within the lines, please. Forward parking, I can do that. And I'm gonna stop just so I can get my thoughts together. Okay, pick to bay. I'm gonna indicate. I'm going to spot my bay, reference point, and turn in. Uh, straighten up the wheels, stop. Uh, Are you happy to leave it there? Am I happy to leave it there? Yeah. I might have a little look first. Okay. Yeah. Just a nice bit of parking. Okay. <laughs> You're on the line on my side. What? <laughs> yeah. You're joking. No, right. I'm, not, I'm actually not joking. The line is allowed. You can stop. You can be on the line, but do you know what? Uh, oh God. So let's reverse that whenever you're ready. Stupid habit. Oh, you don't mean to fix it? Oh, no, I'm good. We're, we're happy to leave it there. Oh, okay, cool. See you, Terry G. Okay. <laughs> Off we go. Loads of observation in the car park because people do weird things in car parks. It looks clear one second and then the next second someone's got out of their car and they're walking behind you. So out of the car park and a left turn. Come on, Terry G. Super clear. Oh, your car's so nice. The suspension's so good. If you can pull over and park up on the left. No problemo. Just up here. Uh, on a yellow line? Yep. Okay, cool. If you're not sure, just ask your examiner. So this would be considered pulling over somewhere safe. Okay, cancel, handbrake, good. wait for the next instruction. All right, Francis, drive off and be ready. All right, cool. The examiner's gonna pull you over like that a few times. I'm on a hill, so I'm using my biting point. Can you see that on the pedals? Yeah, you can see that pedal cam. Pedal cam's so good. Handbrake's off, that's so finely balanced. I've been a little while now though, so I'm gonna double check my blurs one. Mm -hmm. Look at me taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. So serious. A little bit of gas, probably don't need it because it's diesel. You can set off on a hill without, can't you? I, oh, would, I wouldn't. I always make sure that there's more fuel than normal. But yeah, in diesels you can, they're yeah. a lot more forgiving. Good. 
turn right here. Yeah. Mirror, signal, position, speed, I'm definitely not gonna cut that corner. Cause I don't know if something's coming around it. And I'm on a driving test, so I need to pass. I'm gonna check my mirror, let this learner pass, cause he was positioned in the middle. No one's got priority here, cause the hazards are on both sides. But I'm just thinking I'm being nice. You can never take priority, you can only give it. So to take control of a situation, like a meeting situation like that, to take control of it, just give the priority. Because then the other car's gonna do exactly what you want. We're gonna go right at this roundabout. Okay, mirror, signal, mini roundabout. I'm gonna approach it really slowly because that man loves that. Just loves a slow approach. To a junction. She wasn't that so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going uh, left from the end? Left at the end of the road, yeah. pausing on that signal till I've passed the junction. I'm going to look left and right. Um, obviously, you only need to give way to the right on the roundabout, but what if there's a police car coming from the left or an ambulance? Road safety, it's important. Yeah, you'd still look. It's important, Alan. Mm -hmm. Road safety. Are you at the speed of Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I was so uh, busy taking the piss out of you about road safety, I forgot my road safety. That happened. Can we edit that? <laughs> Let's go back round and we can do that bit again. Let's go back round to the car park. Can I do a handbrake turn? Oh no, electronic handbrake. Spin around. Can we do that again? No. Are you going to put that in? No. Damn it. Take the next road on your left. Okay, right at the end of the driving test as well. This is Ennisdale Road. The driving test centre is on this road. Jesus. This is going to make great YouTube. Um, damn. <sighs> now I've got to wait six months to book another one. Well, the last one was six months ago. I, I was hoping it had improved. <laughs> <laughs> Has my driving improved? I've been taking lots of lessons. I've been doing about three lessons every single day. Take the next road on your right, please. Okay. Um, so my driving should be amazing. Should we park up on the main road? Here? Should we park up on the main road? Yeah, we'll park up here. Yeah. Just pull in and park up on the left, yeah. There are signal. I can use the pavement here, but if you're on a driving test and you're not sure, ask. So the examiner would tell you, I want you to go on the <laughs> pavement there, bless you. Thanks. Because they, they will always make sure it's an exception with that one. They yeah. will tell you if they want you to go up on the pavement. Yeah, never park on the pavement. Switch off the engine. Okay. Brilliant, thank you. How did I, how did I do? Give me a few minutes. All right, Francis, that's the end of your driving test. And unfortunately... What? You didn't pass on this occasion. What? Why? There's quite a few reasons why. What? Yeah. The first one being the You're obvious joking. one. No, I'm not joking. The first one being the obvious one, um, use of speed. Use of speed? You're on a 20 zone going uphill 27 miles per hour. Damn. And I had to tell you and to bring it to your attention. That did happen. That did happen. That did happen. Um, Is generally, that a fail? your approach, yes, that would be a fail. Because I'm way over the speed limit. Yeah. Generally, your approach to junctions is a little bit too quick. It's one junction where we had that black car on the right. The black BMW, yeah. Yep. So that was junction observation. That I know was the car's fault though, because to... I was expecting petrol acceleration but like my car. you need to make sure that the car that you're driving capable and kind of... Yeah, I don't like this get car used to it. <laughs> I said nice things about it at the start, but um, yeah. And then lastly, we've also got control on steering. Now, on three separate occasions, you've taken both hands off the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. One in particular, you're 20 miles per hour approaching those traffic lights, which now went amber and you sped up to go through. I was talking with my hands. Yeah. So there's quite a few things there for you to work on. Would you fail from taking your hands off the steering wheel? Yes. There was no loss of control. No, but considering the, the kind of road you were on at the time, it wasn't safe. I didn't feel safe. You didn't feel safe? I didn't feel safe. <laughs> That's so you know funny. What, you know what? There was this examiner yeah. in Isleworth, and uh, one of my students, I've told him plenty of times, you know, make sure you keep both hands on the steering, but he'd like to steer with one hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he's on his test, he's steering with one hand, and the other hand's resting here or there. He's a new driver, but knows what he's doing. And the examiner literally goes to him on test, I'd feel more comfortable if you used both hands on the steering. Wow, yeah. no way. So you told got him to how make, to steer? Yeah, he told okay. him to put both hands on the steering wheel because he did not But feel you can legit drive with one hand. But the examiner didn't feel comfortable with one-handed steering. He must have so, yeah. done some dodgy steering. Yeah. Well, Aman, I had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, it was good fun, definitely, for sure. I'm going to have to come back in six months and book another driving test with you. By the looks of it, but 
you need to start taking these seriously otherwise you're not going to get your license at this rate <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna lose my license at this rate. No, um, yeah, driving, super fun, amazing. If you are learning to drive, obviously we're having lots of fun and banter in this video, um, but the tips that we're telling you are really good, really useful. Make sure that your examiner's impressed. Have fun with driving, but take it seriously. Drive safe and take it seriously. Take it seriously. Yeah. Take it seriously, pass your driving test, and then you can go whatever speed you want on 20 zones. Joking, no, joking, no. joking, joking. I'm gonna have to take out everything he said in the whole video, just don't listen. Zip. Just mute, just put some music on in the background. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of the video today. Hopefully today's video has been useful. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to Francis to see some of his driving and his mock tests. To see more jokes mock tests. Yeah, yeah great. Bye for now. Peace.